Oh, derivatives. Hmm, ya. Yeah. Before starting the concept of derivative, uh, one example um, we have to discuss about uh, the increment eh? is helpful concept. What is increment exactly? Uh, one question I will give. Find the increment. Find the increment in y and average uh, rate of change of y equal to f of x equal to 2x square. with respect to x when x changes from 2 to 2.5 uh, ok I will so this example solve this example find the increment in y and average rate of change of y equal to f of x equal to 2x square with respect to x when x changes from 2 to 2.5 for this when uh, we have y equal to 2x square is given and del x equal to 2.5 minus 2 equal to 0 0.5 so what is del x that is the small changes in x means x changes from 2 to 2.5 so that is denoted by del x that is upper limit minus lower limit or ch their change is 0 0.5 so from 2 to 2.5 it changes from 2 to 2.5 so the difference or the change is small increment of x is 0 0.5 now now if x equal to 2 then y equal to 2 times 2 e square equal to 2 times 4 equal to 8 yeah if x equal to 2.5 then y equal to 2 times 2.5 e square equal to 12.5 is a uh, 6.25 times 2 is 12.5 yeah therefore the increment the increment in y is del y del y is this minus this 12.5 minus 8 equal to 4.5 and the average rate of change average rate of change of y with respect to x is del y over del x what is
This is the average rate of change. If y equal to x square is a function, calculate del x, del y. Uh, and uh, average <coughs> rate of change average rate of change when x changes who to 4.25 definition let y equal to f of x be a continuous function be a continuous function if del x be there a small increment in x and del y be the corresponding corresponding small increment in y then the ratio del y over del x is called the average rate of change of y with respect to x on some neighborhood of x thus when x changes from a to b then del x equal b minus a and del y equal to fp minus fa hence the ray the average rate of change of y with respect to x x is del y over del x equal 
एफ बी माइनस एफ ए ओवर बी माइनस ए वन डेल एक्स टेंस टू जीरो देन द एवरेज रेट ऑफ चेंज ऑफ वाई विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू एक्स बिकम्स इंस्टांस्टेनियस रेट ऑफ चेंज ऑफ वाई विथ रेस्पेक्ट टू एक्स प्रोवाइडेड दैट दिस लिमिट एग्जिस्ट दस स्टांस टेनियस रेट ऑफ चेंज इक्वल टू लिमिट डेल एक्स टेंस टू जीरो डेल वाई ओवर डेल एक्स अबाउट द इंक्रीमेंट uh what is about del x what is about del y and the ratio that we have already discussed in previous example now this is justification or in a words language definition i have mentioned now our target is to discuss about derivative we have to connect this into derivative parts so dear students what is derivative of a function sir actually udar ko dhyan nahi aisa thank you sir derivative of a function yes let's discuss the definition first dear students let y equal to f of x be a continuous function defined in defined in n open interval i <coughs> let del x be the small increment in x and del y be the corresponding corresponding small increment in y then the derivative derivative or it is also called the differential coefficient differential coefficient of f with respect to x in i is defined as the limiting value of 
limiting value of limit del x tends to 0 del y by del x provided that the limit exists the derivative the derivative of y equal to f of x with respect to x is denoted by dy by dx or f dash x or d by dx of f of x or simply y dash this these are the symbolical representation of the derivative so in this way we can find the definition of the derivative now we have to go further on this part how to find the derivative or what is the meaning or what are the purpose of this okay yes now the next part dear student Now, before finding other purpose, I will show you the geometrical meaning of the derivative. Dear students, geometrical meaning of derivative dy by dx first of all we have to draw a figure x o x dash y o y dash this is a tangent uh, this is a tangent just this is a curve and uh, Yes, they will meet at this point so this is a straight line this is the angle theta this is the point this is point P X comma Y this is point Q X plus del X comma Y plus del Y Y equal to F of curve F of X yes now about the proving part dear students let P X Y be any point on the curve on the curve 
of the function y equal to f of x and let q x plus del x comma y plus del y this q be the neighboring point neighboring point of P on the curve then then the slope of the secant PQ PQ this secant okay is m equal to we know the formula y2 minus slope is y2 minus y1 upon x2 minus x n so y2 is what y plus del y minus y over x plus del x minus x the points of q is y2 is y plus del y is yeah y this is x plus del x minus x slope is y2 minus um, y2 minus y1 upon m equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 so here uh, slope of secant pq we obtain in this way i think you understand this it is not tough part uh, equal to this cancel del y over del x yeah in limiting position in limiting position when q tends to p q tends to p many times i have explained about this by uh, in GeoGebra also I have shown if this points moves towards Q or that is means Q tends to P along the curve along the curve and if Q is sufficiently sufficiently close to p then del x tends to 0 del x tends to 0 the increment tends to 0 and hence the secant pq becomes tangent at p to the curve y equal to f of x if the point q moves along with the curve and the secant p cube uh, if q is sufficiently close to p then this line uh, we can give uh, the name okay this name uh, this is okay M N is tangent uh, s t is secant this secant becomes uh, or uh, um, overlaps with M N while moving this uh, along the curve right your q point p ko nazi ke aya wane your secant k ma convert uncha tangent ma convert uncha athwa tangent bancha bhanna khoja it means aba hami <coughs> so the slope of the tangent aba slope yo q tends to p bhako bela ma secant chai tangent huncha bhane tesko slope ke huncha we have to find so slope so the slope of slope of tangent is m 
equal to limit del x tends to zero again a bunch of qp ma on with the del x to value negligible on or tends to zero on so i need del y by del x equal to dy by dx on so your slope nike on so at you on so hence hence geometrically geometrically the derivative derivative dy by dx or f dash x represents the slope of tangent at any point x comma y to the curve y equal to f of x in this way we can find the geometrical del x yeah and simply del y equal to f of x plus del x minus f of x i mean suppose we have taken y equal to f of x is a function and x plus del x f x plus del x equal to y plus del y okay then del y is we have to subtract y which is means f of x okay and del y over del x equal to f of x plus del x minus f of x by del x then then limit del x tends to 0 del y by del x equal to taking limits del x tends to 0 on both side f of x plus del x minus f of x over del x this means what this is derivative dx by dy equal limit del x tends to 0 f of x plus del x minus f of x equal to del x if x is in terms of as we are discussing x is the small increment in x then the derivative of y equal to f of x with respect to x can be defined as f dash x equal limit s tends to 0 f x plus s minus f of x all over h just del x is change, uh, replaced by h provided the limit exist okay i will repeat it again suppose y equal to f of x and uh, f of x and f of 
x plus del x equal to del y plus y then del y is just uh, y is f of x we can shift and change <coughs> sorry and del y by del x we have divided this and taken the limits and we can derive in terms of h also okay in this way um, we can find the derivatives in terms of h also similarly if you didn't get the first step dear students it is um, y equal to f of x you know y plus del y equal to k uncha esko k uncha meaning do you know the meaning of this y plus del y garda yo aayo bhanne ta bujhchau ni haina ki bujhdaina that method is called first principle method we will be discussing in the example later one mm, then next part is dear students the derivative derivative of y equal to f of x at particular point particular point x equal to a is define as f dash a equal to limit s tends to zero f of a plus h minus f of a by h provided that the limit exist if x equal to a plus h then h equal to x minus a so h tends to 0 implies x tends to a then what is f dash a equal limit x tends to a f of x minus f of a over x minus a provided that the limit exists now finally function a function y equal to f of x is said to be differentiable or derivable with respect to x if its derivative f tax x exists the process of finding the derivative of a given function is called differentiation differentiation in this way 